general basis, okay? Hang in there with me though, I don't wanna overwhelm you. So now, we need to come up with a balance sheet for the general fund, okay? How are we gonna do this balance sheet for the general fund? Can we, de can we just add and subtract our cash? Cash 100, minus 10, minus six, plus 24, minus 24, minus 200. What does that give us? Anybody? The balance is 16,200. So our cash asset is 83,800, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. 83,800. What's our fund balance? Same. Same thing, 83,800. See how easy that is? Are we loving it? Now, let's do our statement of revenues, expenditures, and other changes in fund balance. How much do we have in, in revenues? What did we receive in revenues? 100,000. 100, Acquisition of computers, how much was that? 10,000. 10, 10, Acquisition of automobile? Wages, Six. interest, 200. total expenditures, 40, excess of revenues over expenditures, Then we've got other changes in fund balance. Proceeds from borrowing. 24,000. Additions to fund balance. Oh, it's 83, eight. There's no other additions. Oh. So 59.8 and 24 is our 83.8. Yeah. Make sense, guys? Any questions? Any, it, any questions? Okay, now we're gonna do, for C, we now have to prepare a government-wide statement of net assets and statement of activities. Now, this has to be on the full accrual basis. Assume that the capital assets have a useful life of five years and that no depreciation is to be charged on the computer that was destroyed. Okay, so what's our cash? 100,000. 83.8. 83, yeah. 83, what's our computer? 10,000. 8,000. 8,000. What's our automobile? 24. Okay, so how many, what's our total here, guys? The eight. Excuse me, let me put this over here. Aren't we going to calculate the depreciation on this? Yes, the depreciation we are. So we've got our 24,000 and our 8,000 gives us how much? 32,000. Do you see where our dep less our accumulated depreciation here, Clement? What we have a um, automobile for 24,000 and we have computers of 8,000. And if we're depreciating over five years, isn't that what it said? Yeah. Six. What would our depreciation be? And that's on the 8,000. And the 24. Oh. What's 32, yeah. Is what? 6,400. So if we subtract that, 
what is our what are our total assets here? Thirty-two minus sixty-four hundred. Thirty-two thousand minus sixty-four hundred is twenty-five thousand six hundred. Which mean our total assets are eighty-three thousand eight hundred plus twenty-five thousand six hundred, or what? Eighty-three thousand eight hundred plus our other assets of twenty-five thousand six hundred give us how much, guys? One oh nine four. You guys have to help me. Now, we took out a loan at that bank, didn't we? Now, remember in our fund statement, we showed proceeds from borrowing. But now we have to do this full accrual. We have to treat that different, don't we? In this full accrual, what do we show the note payable? 24000 we didn't pay down any principal, remember? We just paid some interest. What are our net assets going to be, guys? Uh, well, that was in our fund balances, but this is going to be a little different. How are we going to figure this out? So is net the total minus the note payable, the liability? Yep. So if our total assets are 1094 and we've got note payable of 24, what do our net assets need to be? Eighty-five thousand four hundred. Eighty-five four. Because. Okay. How'd you get that number again? The one hundred nine. Minus the twenty-four. The Minus. Okay. Thank you. Does that make sense, guys? See what we're doing here? Any questions? That our note payable is twenty four. Our total assets, net assets, eighty five four, because our assets need to equal our liabilities plus net assets. So one oh nine four is going to be. Actually, I should bring this. One oh. It's a balance sheet. Remember. Okay. 